All right, I'm on hole number 18 of the Highlands Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Last hole, need to get an Albie. Need to pick it up. So this hole has also been changed. And I am going to take the lower route and try and come straight up at it. And this is, I'm still trying to work out the details on the drive as far as like how much <clears throat> topspin. 2.5 topspin with my rock is the max. <laughs> it probably needs to be two and a quarter just to give myself a little breathing room down there because it is like literally almost in the rough. And that's a little too close for me. I'm taking a Kingmaker. This tournament is sponsored by Kingmaker. Eight out of nine golf clashers recommend Kingmaker. All right, two and a half. I want to be three rings off. Anytime I'm doing big curl shots, I always like to set up at least three rings off the transitional surface. Sometimes you have to cheat just a bit. There's two and a, maybe a third. Do a 10% wind adjustment, so it's 3-3. Three, three. Max curl. Hitting it perfect. See, the, the, that's right there. I mean, two and a sliver. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna erase the five and just put a sliver. I'm gonna erase the two point five top spin right two and a sliver two and a sliver top spin because I think two and a half like a full two and a half is probably too much. It does have a little bit where it's going up that hill at the very end and it wants to it wants to stop because it's got it's got a little teeny steep spot right there at the end and it'll slow it down just a little. So you might get away with two and a half, but that's one of the things about this particular Greenwich point has always taught you as like blind curl shots. Like that right there is an absolute blind curl shot. This particular course in particular, I've been playing those types of shots forever. And the deal where you just don't know where it's going to go, you, it's a pure setup shot. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a straight up, even though I'm not in max club. I'm going to do a straight up one per ring. And that's about a 20% adjustment. And that's four and one. Three, six. And it just feels, I'm going to do a four, I'm going to do four, I'm going to do a four mile an hour pull. I'm going to treat it like it's one per ring, even though it's not in max club. Oh, and I, I think that I anticipated. Anticipation. And it's a lot closer than it, than it should have been. <laughs> If I'd have hit that perfect, I think it would have ended up on the right-hand side of the cup. But there is a little bit of a funnel down there, so if you can hit into it, I don't think I hit into it enough to really direct it back to the cup. So I think the deal there is is that I probably would have ended up. I still didn't, still didn't pull it enough. Maybe won't know until we can hit some perfects in there. Did not get the 28, so coming into the opening round, finishing up the opening round with the 27, that is uh, pitiful. Got to be 30, I think, in this particular tournament. If you're trying to go for a win, you got to be 30 plus. So you got to pick up all three of the par fours, or two of the par, the two par fours we have to pick up, and one other hole, preferably that other par four, because it's the lowest hanging fruit. And then anything else you can pick up is just is just really putting you in the right spot. 
Still have my practice account to play. Um, I'm going to go through tonight and continue to work on the numbers. I'll upload these videos and then I will, uh, I'm going to stream my, my main or my prox account and go out there and just try and, uh, just try and work on the numbers. I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm comfortable with what club and ball I'm bringing. And now it's just a matter of trying to, uh, dial in any adjustments that we need to make to the cup. All right, that was hole number 18. Finishing up the uh, opening round with a 27. Which pops me up into the top 10, but that's not nearly good enough to get a win. Need to get, uh, what do we got up at the top? So we got 428s up at the top. I really believe that this tournament's going to take a uh, 20. It's going to take a 29 or better. And there may be some brackets that win with a 28, but I think in most brackets, I think the majority are going to be like 29 or 30. And then you're going to have those brackets where somebody does shoot higher than that. And you're going to have brackets where you shot a 31 and came in third, or came in second. And that can happen. But I think overall, when you think about all of the, the brackets that are out there, it's going to be somewhere in the 29 to 30 range is what we're really looking for. And I want to start that off with a minus 30. So I feel good about where I'm at. I, I made a couple of mental errors on the front, but uh, on the back, I played a really good solid round on the back. That back side is exactly what I need my round to look like. The uh, dropped eagle on hole number three on the front was a total brain fart, missing the rough, trying to do a rough bump and missing the rough. And then picking up the eagle on hole number four, those, those hole number four is critical to a great round. And once again, made a, uh, made a really bad adjustment on hole number eight and, and dropped that eagle. So I had lots of opportunities there to uh, get to what I would consider the minimum score to get it up. But uh, we'll work, continue to work on it. And hopefully in the weekend round, I can get all of my adjustments made. So that like literally all 18 holes, I've got a serious, dead serious shot. I still think I'm, I've got two, maybe three holes that I'm still so far off that uh, I'm, I'm close, but I'm, just like what it takes to actually get it in the cup, I'm still tweaking the numbers. All right, that was the uh, opening round of the Highlands Tournament. Thanks for watching.